Don't bother, no. get dipped like a chip, no salsa uh. I guarantee that I'll flog ya So if I see you, you better come proper I've been holding it down from my hood It's like this city all the way to the wood 4114, take a page out of my book They shook, we came from the Welcome back to episode 7 of, of the, the Voice, Voice Box. Box. This is episode 7. Uh, it, that's two away from episode 5 if you don't know what 7 is. No. <laughs> you don't? It's two ahead of episode 5. Yeah, that's what no I'm saying. No behind. No. No biblical. biblical. No by officer. That's a Bible. By officer. Okay. Anyway, so this so is episode, this is episode seven. 7. It's been like 7 weeks since we started this, which is almost 2 months. Can you believe that? Alfie, can you believe that? Our cat's sitting there, but you can't make see us. Please meow. Just meow. make a noise. Alfie, meow. She's not making a noise. She doesn't meow a lot. So, <laughs> She's yeah. just chilling. Not many people watch The Voice Box. However, someone has subscribed on The Voice Box can you believe app, this? which is incredible. So, The we didn't Voice think anyone Box, would. the actual Voice Box podcast where like it's just a sound is on the podcast player app no one was really listening to it on there but someone did we got a subscriber on the podcast player app for voice box so now there's a listener on the actual podcast player app so now we need to um provide for them them. as well it's pretty cool because like i wonder if they found us from youtube or they found it there and then they found youtube from it don't know anyway interesting um, so first up, I want, uh, let's, let's uh, do shout outs. Yeah. Um, so people who commented on the last voice box get a shout out. Bingo, now, bango. bango. The well, singular last comment. last video we were talking about um, international viewers and people from overseas who might be watching. Oh, uh, we had uh, because in the stats we have like six percent US, few percent UK. Um, mostly Australian, and then a tiny bit Trinidad and Tobago. Which is funny, because <laughs> that was our first world video, and we have a viewer from Trinidad and Tobago. Which is just a big coincidence, I it's guess. It's so cool, though. It's so cool. Yeah. But yeah, uh, he said he's from UK, bingo, bango, so that's pretty cool. Um, shout out to him. Shout out to him. Good guy. So that was all that was coming on the last video, but if you want a shout out in the next video, you know what to do. Comment. 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 You know, you know. You know. And we have got suggestions from people uh, for like future videos and stuff like that, which is exactly what we want you to do. do we're that. nearly at a hundred subscribers, so we're getting bigger, and we think that um, people commenting could really help the channel grow and get more. Speaking of nearly at a hundred subscribers, at the time we're filming this, we have ninety-eight subscribers. Which means that maybe in the next week we'll get a hundred, which is a big milestone, and we'll start doing the hundred subscriber special. So, that's, so look forward to that. Yeah, that brings me to a point I just want to quickly point out. Um, the hundred subscriber special won't come out like the day we get a hundred subscribers. No. It will come out a little later because we have a lot of things we want to do, but we will prioritize that as much as we can. Yeah. But a bigger priority is MK11 Aftermath just because it's like brand new and we want to make a video and if, when it's yeah if we make it too late then it'll lo- lose um popularity and we won't and we're starting new categories this month so if we get 100 subscribers this month it will be out it will be out next month yeah probably our second video next month mm. 100 subscribers but two subscribers away so if you haven't subscribed do that get us to 100 boy bingo bango bingo, i mean bingo. that that was unrelated to the actual person who commented, but... Man, two away. That's two clicks people need to do out there to get us to triple digits. Yeah. So, pretty epic. Also, uh, very quickly, um, episode three of No Man's Sky series is coming out soon. If you're wondering. So, if you... Yeah, if you were wondering, so one of my we're still doing that. one said that he liked it. Yeah. No Man's Sky series. So, yeah, um, what, we're, what we're doing... What I'm hoping to do is post one every month, but if there's a high demand for them... Like, I'll put a f- couple of polls up in the next video. And if they get high, highly requested, then I'll start doing maybe two a month. Um, and hopefully that doesn't replace other videos. But, uh, yeah, so we'll see. We want to do Resident Evil 2, more videos than that. We want to yeah. finish that series. Yeah, as quickly as possible. As quickly as possible, yeah. It will take long because we do editing and then we have to other videos we do and yeah. we can't play games all the time. So it's... um. It's yeah, it's a bit hard to juggle, but um, we're hoping it'll turn out well. Yeah. So, we're nearly at 100 subscribers, so we're doing something right, right I guess. Yeah. 98. It might be 99. It might even be 100 when By this By the time this is out. But, don't know. But right First now, story. 
of the day. We think we'll start with something small and something close to home. Haircuts. Yeah. You know haircuts. I think it's kind of relevant because of coronavirus. We finally got a haircut today. It's been three months. They're not styled. That's why they look trash. They look trash, but... It's been three months since either of us cut our hair. Which is crazy. Crazy. Three but months of it growing Going to long. the hairdresser is a culture. There's something about it, and it's special and different every single time. But I have an embarrassing haircut story. So often the time, some people don't mind. Some people like when the hairdresser talks to them. Yeah, Me, it's good. Me, I don't really care. If I know the person better, then I will. But if they're just a person who's just cut my hair the first time, it's kind of awkward. Uh, we uh, sometimes go to this hairdresser who's like... Um, uh, Ethnic. <laughs> International. From the Middle East. And um, he... So they speak another language. He's very nice. He's, He's very nice. They're good guys. They talk to us. And yeah? very good hairdressers. And one of them is... Uh, was um, like talking to me a bit. And he like... Sometimes they t- talk to other co-workers in like their... Whatever <laughs> voice they have. And so he language, said... Not language, not Language. Language. <laughs> I forgot language called... <laughs> And sometimes he's talking to him in another language. And one time he said it, said something to his friend. And it sounded, I didn't know if he was talking to me. So I said pardon to him. And then he said, oh, sorry, I wasn't talking to you. And then I said pardon again. No. <laughs> and then he said, oh, sorry, I wasn't talking to you. And then I heard him and I was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> that is very sad. And <laughs> I hope that never happens to anyone else. <sighs> But um, unavoidable. Sometimes, sometimes their accent's very strong, so you can't understand what they're saying. And sometimes, just like, like they say something like, um, uh, like. Uh, what do you want? How like was what? how was your school? And yeah. I, and I'm like, yes, yes, because I don't know what he said. He's like, <laughs> I'll be you bull, and I'm like, oh, yeah, Scott, that's yeah. racist. It's not racist. It can't. It has racist undertones. I'm sorry. Oh, if you could see our cat right now. You can't though. So Make a noise. Don't. You bastard! Meow! It's not even moving. It's She's not even moving. I think it's dead. Are you dead? No, it's alive. Oh, it's alive. It's alive. Okay. Good. So, haircuts. Haircuts. If you have any embarrassing haircut stories, comment them below. We want to know. We want to know all your stories. Yes, and if you go to our Flat Earth vs. Round Earth video, I take my hat off at one point, and you can see the difference mm-hmm. of how my hair has been shortened. Oh, it's your nose. You knock the microphone. Good job, mate. Okay, next story. Um, another one. Close time. But this time it's more... Okay. PewDiePie leaked his email. If you haven't emailed him already, email him. I don't know his email address, but I'm guessing it's something common like... I don't know, Felix. Dot eat dot could you... man cookie dot com. That's definitely it. So PewDiePie was live streaming and his email... Got leaked. Not one, but two of and his emails. And now people are like, I love it! And tweeting and like emails. And signing him up for all this random stuff and he's getting weird emails. But I just thought I'd mention that. That's so sad. Very sad. Just ditch those emails and make a new one. That's what he's sad. doing, I imagine. Because, I mean, you couldn't keep them because you'd just get spammed. So that's that's very unfortunate for PewDiePie. Mm. Cause he has Something no large YouTuber wants to happen. Because millions and millions of people just be like da, 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 gonna sign him up for some random dating site and make him get I definitely it. didn't do that <laughs> so that? no what no what next story closer to home again in Australia Australia with... mate bloody off mate you know we have an Australia video coming up soon but I won't tell you what it's for it might be um it'll probably be the same day this is posted or no, tomorrow. it won't be the same day as posted. The Australian video will be posted later this oh, week. Oh, yeah, it will later be. Later this it week. It will be later this week. Stuff so it'll be after this video, and it's coming. Australia video. But mm-hmm. uh, it might not be what you expect. It probably isn't. It's probably not what you expect. So this one. Aldi, the popular franchise all over Australia, and the one-stop shop, shop for insane rip-offs. They're grocery shops. It's a grocery store. It's a shop. grocery store. Yeah. It's like Woolworths. You go there and you if buy you it. live in Australia, you know what Aldi is. If it you don't, you makes might not. all of its own random. Well, it doesn't make it. It gets all this random rip-off stuff. Um, 
and it's built this culture for um like Tim Tams, it's got its own Tim Tams, it's got its own like mint slices, all this different stuff that are. It's, it's got its own, own Fruit Loops. Its own wheat bix. If you, you we're talking in tongues, if you don't know what Australia, if you don't know all yeah, this Australian stuff. Yeah, it's got its stuff. own Fruit Loops, which is called like Loot Loops. Or some random stuff. Like nah, that. I went there to Audi and it was called Loot Loops or something. Right. Like um. Yeah, but Audi is a great store. And it had a bird. Cheap on the front. prices, good stuff. However, there is one thing that it is apparently not good at. And that is maths. Math. Because. Math. In Audi, they have these things. I can't remember seeing one, but apparently they have them in almost every store. They're these learning mats. It's just a mat that either go on like a a countertop or the floor or something like that. They're these mats with times tables and multiplication and division. And And they're wrong. And one of them... And well, all of them have a mistake on them, <laughs> which is 12 times 12 equals 60. What? And we all know that is nowhere near it's the actual 144. number, 44. What? And this mistake was pointed out by a four-year-old kid. What, the four-year-old kid? And now all of these maths are being thrown away and they're being reprinted. I thought I'd just mention that because it's a very dumb story. Silly Audi. How did Silly Audi, Audi. not realise They've had mistake. rip-off Tim Tams. They've had rip-off Wheat Bix. And now they have rip-off Maths. Are you serious, sir? Come on, Audi. You Seriously, have... mate. Get into it. Yeah, get, get out what of it. What are you it. doing? Bit of fur for you, then. Stop. What can you do to cats to make them meow? I... <laughs> she attacked <laughs> the them. mic. She... Strangle them. They'll go like... <laughs> no. Nah. Yeah. Alfie, yeah. Another Australian dispute. I'm pretty sure it's it's probably in other countries as well, but this is um, the fridge versus pantry debate. Now, there's different disputes for all different foods, but the main two are chocolate and sauce. Now, I'm just going to quickly say fridge for chocolate. I think pantry for chocolate. I think fridge for chocolate. I think pantry. I like my chocolate really hard. When you, like you like a big Easter Bunny chocolate, you got. Mm. Mm. That can be nice. But with sauce, but if, you ha- you have to agree. You keep it in the cupboard, and when you open it, and the first you keep it in the cupboard before use, and as soon as you start to use it, you put it in the fridge. There, I don't. I'm not sure because so if fridge. you keep it out, then it could go off much quicker. It, it can get mouldy, you can get all the stuff, and you have to throw it out, and like, ah, oh, and then you have to buy new... No. In the fridge, it just keeps it fresh and keeps it nice and keeps it flavoursome. That's my only problem with that. If you don't like cold sauce, keep it out in the open. Who cares? If you have enough money to buy more, it doesn't bother me. But... The point of sauce... Chocolate is usually in a package. You don't start a bar, then put it back. You, that doesn't happen. You eat the whole thing at once. So, oh, it's a big pantry. Time. Pantry. But the thing is, I don't want it to melt. You want it to well, keep it hot. In Australia, on a 40 degree day, it will melt. That is inevitable. Even if it is in the fridge. The no. fridge. No, 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 are you gonna beat more for me this time? But then, but then, outside is forty degrees. Then, but the fridge is minus forty degrees. What do you mean? That's so cold. How will it melt? Cause it won't even melt. Cause it's not dry. Fridge is just better than a cupboard. All right. Some things obviously go in a cupboard, but fridge. Come on, fridge. Game. I don't know. Put your comments below. There might be a poll. There's no know. poll. There's probably We're no poll. We're forcing you to comment. Yeah, you have to comment. No poll. Don't put a poll up. Yeah. You have to comment if, yeah. if you want to tell us. Yep. Yeah. Also, another big franchise in Australia. Target. The most beautiful of all Australian franchises. Even though this is an American thing, I think. Target is in America as Target well. Target is... In in Australia, Target countries. is the one-stop shop for one dollar sweatshop clothing. Target is such a iconic place. You know, you shoot the dog because it's got a target on side. Mm. But unfortunately, over one hundred and sixty stores in Australia 
are closing down because they're losing customers who need $1 shirts. Toys R Us and now Target? Well, Toys R Us closed down like three years ago. Shut up. Okay. Oh, it was first though. And yeah, now Target? So sad. <laughs> so what are sad. we going to do? So what are we going to do? It's not completely shutting down, right? But just no, just yeah, but a lot of stores are closing. Is that our local Target? Maybe. Oh, that would suck. A bunch. A bunch. That's so of many. Stores. How many how many targets can one country have? A lot. Yeah, but <coughs> not that many. <coughs> would you not? <coughs> Western Sydney cannot. has like 10 targets. 10 targets. Probably. 10 of them could go under that 160. No. That'd be so sad. We need a couple of targets left. So yeah, in case we need targets. a really cheap shirt for 50 cents you know, that's come straight from Vietnam in a sweatshop. You know my favourite... Or Bangladesh. Or my, China. Would you stop? Okay, I'm just listing facts. You know... Oh, Alfie, stop moving. You damn cat! Stop moving! I'm balancing my list of stuff to talk about on you. Can you just stop? Thank you. It's resting on her. Perfect. If, if she doesn't leave by the end of the video, I'll we'll definitely film We'll pick her up her. and we'll show her. Yeah. Or we'll just move the camera to film her. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Alright. Anyway, um, what was I going to say? I was going to say, my favourite shirt I got from Target, you know? A four dollar shirt that is just no shirt can compare and to it. And has been shown in many of our videos, I think. If this is the one it's a blue about. aqua shirt. Yeah, I figured. With the words "epic" written on it. It's unfortunately, in different. Unfortunately, uh, I'm not videos. wearing it right now. In uh, Which video? the doors video, I yeah, show I think, it off. Yeah. But it's my favorite shirt, and it was only four dollars. But it says "epic" on it, like you can't. Like that is that. so epic. So epic. And it was from Target. I bought it with my mum from Target. So godly. So godly. Our mum is from Target. At least... <laughs> Let's just say that. We At least I have a souvenir. Bucks. Right. Next story. PlayStation 5 backwards compatibility. Something... You have a PS4. A ton of people have been waiting for. Let's... Yeah, you go. A ton of people have a PlayStation 4. And they One have One of the best so consoles in the game. So many games on there. So many. And the, but the PlayStation 5 is coming out. So oh, they're like, no. all these games, oh. what am I going to do with them no. after I get the PlayStation 5? Damn it. All that money. Backwards compatibility. Whoa. You can play your PlayStation 4 games on the on PS5. On the PlayStation 5. This is so godly. And not only that, but you, not only can you play PS4 games on it, you can play the games from your PSN account on it. So if you sign into the PSN account that you have on your PS4, then you can get all the games and all the purchases and all that stuff onto your PS5. So if you bought stuff digitally and you don't even have the disc, you can still play it on your PlayStation 5. And I, I'm not sure how it's going to work with loading screens and um and, and improved rumors, graphics rumors going around it's more than rumors at this point but no loading screens i mean minimal if, loading screens yeah if xbox series x doesn't have backwards compatibility or minimal loading screens playstation 5 is the way to go the way to go and if it updates ps4 like if you play a ps4 game on there and it updates the graphics to ps5 style and it, i don't know if it can but if it if gets it rid can. of loading screens that in itself is just insane. Bro, throw out the damn PS4. Skyrim with no loading screens? No, wait, I just realised that's bad because how can you learn all the facts when it's been... No, oh. it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. But um, other games... What's another game that has... Um, I don't know. King no Kong Deliverance screens. with 14-hour loading screens. No loading on, screens, guys. Bro. Maybe. That's Minimal crazy. loading screens. That's crazy. Backwards compatibility. You can play your games on PS5. I don't know what can sell you out on a console more. Backwards compatibility. Have you seen the demo trailer? So you see those graphics? That is incredible. Unreal Engine 5 graphics are insane. Godly. It's like real life. It's moving. Stop moving. Meow! Make a damn noise, you Can dog. you just make a singular noise? Meow! <laughs> Wait, you might be able to hear it.
Did you hear that purring? Did I don't you know if you did. Purring? You might have. You might have heard the purring. That was like 20 seconds straight of me holding the microphone in front of her face. <laughs> if you're on the podcast player app, which somebody is, that was funky. Yeah. So, next. Um, well, That's cool. PlayStation 5, yeah. backwards compatibility. It's all up to the price right now whether we're going to get it. If it's I in think the price range we're thinking, we're getting it. We have I think to. we definitely have to get it because I but think maybe not regardless of price because... Um, if we want to be able to play all the games and have all the stuff that we have on the PlayStation 4, on the PlayStation 5, you got to get it. Got to mm. get that. But yeah. the thing, my big question is for people who are still going to use PlayStation 4, are they still going to make games compatible p- for PlayStation 4? Because they think, didn't do it with PS4. I think what they're going to do is... They didn't do it with Xbox <coughs> 360. Sorry. So we're done for. Yeah. I think they'll do the same that they did with Xbox 360 for about like maybe a couple of months. They'll keep releasing games on the older um, play uh, like um, consoles, but after maybe a few months, they'll just phase them out. You will still be able to buy PlayStation 4 games and Xbox at, um, yeah. One games. If you just you'll have to you update buy, eventually. You can still buy PlayStation 1 games. You can still buy Xbox 360 games. Yeah. Yeah, if... Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Ah, I can't remember what I was going to say, so just skip me. So, yeah, that's pretty epic. If you have a PS4, that's some good news for you. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. So, if it's $500, think about how much money PlayStation will make. Mm-hmm. $500 a console, all the games... They will make so think, much money. But I think a lot of people are saving money as well, considering this backwards compatibility. Like, now you won't have to buy all these games again. You can just play them. Yeah, but there's still more future games coming out. That yeah, 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 obviously, yeah. Obviously. Obviously. Oh, but. my God. Like, if millions of dollars off it. Millions. Mm. 100%. Because a lot of people have PlayStation 4s. A lot of people get PlayStation 5. My only problem is the controllers look a little weird. I think the controllers look better than the normal ones. Everyone can agree that the PlayStation 4 controller is worse than the Xbox controller. In feel. Now, I'm saying that the PlayStation 5 controller and the PlayStation 4 controller, PlayStation yeah. 4 controller is better. I completely disagree, and I think most of people would. But the PlayStation 5 controller, obviously it will have different colours, but anyway. I think it looks very cool, and I'm really, really excited to use it. So, um, yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> channel update, boys and girls. There is really nothing to say. We always end it with a channel update. So we're just going to talk to you for a bit. Channel update. Channel's What's going well. What's going on? So we, we have a lot have, of categories. We have a lot of categories begun. If you haven't checked out our reviews video, our world video, our space video. Yeah. What was the other one? Extreme. Our, our extreme video. We haven't done a podcast since then. That was banging. Godly. Bro, when I fell off his shoulders, I was not joking. I got the wind knocked out of me. That was a good video. It was fun to film. But extreme, Also fun to edit. Extreme videos we want to do in the future, more painful things. Mm. Wheelbarrows. We're going to take it to the next level. We're going to do... We have so many ideas. One where we fight each other, like full... Just full blown fight each, each other. Punching each other. Like bashing the crap out of each other. That'll be fun. One where we ride our bikes and scooters into walls and stuff. One where we ride in a wheelbarrow and, like, throw each other around. Yeah. Fun. It's, Fun. It's Good stuff. Like Be excited for them. The piggybacker's video hurt, but we're taking it to the extreme. Yeah. Extreme! Okay, guys, um, that'll do enough for this Voice Box Episode 7. Hope you loved this episode. I'm going to show you the cat, guys. All right, let's go. If she is currently sleeping, which is extremely sad that she'll be... Oh, well, yeah, it's quite good. All right. There you go. There's the cat. How do you do think something. That? Oh, look at this. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Nope. She doesn't want to wake up. Play! Me! Wah! Pick me on the set! German! Your crew look nervous Why? Yo gang came from the circus Yo I never ever make no earnings uh. Pull up, pull up in the German uh. Your crew look nervous Yo gang came from the circus yeah. Yo I never ever make no earnings <laughs> They ain't a bad so don't bother no. Get dipped like a chip, no salsa uh. I guarantee that I'll flog ya So if I see you, you better come proper I've been holding down for my whole